Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce you to a small Python library named CoNLLU which can be used to parse data annotated using the CoNLLU annotation scheme. To get started, let's import the CoNLLU library and open a file annotated using this schema for reading in Python read the contents and assign the result under the variable annotations. If we check the type of this object, we'll see that it's a Python string. And if we print out the first 1000 characters of this string, then we'll get the co and LLU annotations, which were introduced in the previous video. This string object, of course, gives us the annotations, but the problem is how to access them effectively. In this cell, we call the parse function from the CoNLLU library and feed the string object stored under the variable annotations to this function. We then store the result under the variable sentences. This gives us a Python list which is populated by token list objects. And this is an object type that is native to the CoNLLU library and each token list object contains a sentence defined in the CoNLLU annotation file. So if we check the first item in the list sentences, this gives us the first sentence defined in the annotation. As you may remember from the previous video, the CoNLLU annotation schema allows defining comment lines which describe the following sentence and this information is parsed and stored under the attribute metadata of a token list object. And as you can see, this corpus provides four types of metadata information for each sentence. The metadata object can be accessed just like a Python dictionary, so we can provide a key in brackets after the metadata attribute to retrieve the value under this key. The token list object in turn consists of objects named tokens, not surprisingly, which can be accessed using brackets. So let's go ahead and fetch the annotations for the first token in the first token list object under the list sentences. This gives us a dictionary-like object with 10 keys that correspond to the 10 columns defined in the CoNLLU annotation scheme. And just as above, we can access these annotations just like we would do with a Python dictionary. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this brief introduction to the CoNLLU library useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.